friends welcome back to my channel on feral's mad world and this is feral this vlog is going to be interesting because this is the first place in addis ababa which is a shoe shine place and which gives a feeling of a museum and i am sure that you will also say wow so let's get started The name of this place is Tureta Shoe Shine, and this shop is in Kazanjes, and it's a fantastic place. I love the feeling and the vibe of this place. Let me show you. Look at this bottle. This was the very first milk shola bottle. Glass bottle is 40 years old, and he has saved this bottle. This is going to be the antique museum of Addis Ababa soon. Some of you guys must be knowing this is a typewriter. This is the one with English alphabets on it. But look at this. This is Amharic typewriter. Whoa. So friends, I have one question for you. Who has used typewriter? If you have, then you comment uh, uh, on the comment section down below that you have used a typewriter. So friends, these are the olden times radio and the tape recorders. The olden time television, can you see that? Look at this. Who remembers this? So this is a very ancient radio, like this. It doesn't work anymore, but this is how it looks. So guys, any guesses what is this? This is the charcoal iron. So you put your charcoal here, you lock this thing, and this is used as ironing. Isn't that amazing? So he has saved all his things in this small shop and beautifully he has decorated his things here and it's a shoe shine place but it's a museum as well won't you say wow so guys uh, this is the oldest phone look at this who remembers this phone so this is the one which you have put it on your ear and this is the receiver you talk from here and you listen from here and this is the very old traditional one you dial the number like this whoever remember this can comment in the comment section down below that yes you are from this era where you have used this phone i haven't because in my time this phone did not exist there was the other kind of phone and i still remember using the other phone let me show you which phone i'm talking about so i'm talking about this phone so this is the phone which i have used during my time when i was young and this phone is similar to the other phone you have to dial like this but the shape is different look at this arm it's nice right i feel nostalgic when i listen to this kind of sound and when the line gets connected you talk to your friend your relative your cousin whoever it is and at that time the charges were too high so it was a very quick call <laughs> So friends, who remembers this phone? See, now this phone doesn't have any any dial pad. So what do you think this phone is for? Comment me in the comment section down below that if you have seen this kind of phone or if you have heard about this kind of phone, it would be very, I would be very happy to receive your comment. Just let me know if you know that where this kind of phone is used. So guys, can you see at the back is the VCR and the audio cassettes remember those days when we used to put a pencil on the wheel and used to rotate and then we had sides a side and b side 
So these are those audio cassettes. And these are the old school books. If I have Ethiopian viewer, you can relate to these books. Friends, I am from India and even in India, I haven't seen a shoe shine shop. And when I am at this place, it gives me such a wonderful feeling. And it is a place where you can sit, relax, you can look at the things. It gives a very good vibe. You have to spend your 5-10 minutes till he sh uh, shines your shoe. But in that 10 minutes, you have candy for your eyes. Hello, I'm Hailes Mojito. I'm the founder of Toyota Shoe Shine Place. Welcome to my shop. When Mr. Haile was young, he had passion for shining shoes and he grew up in Addis Ababa as a shoe shiner. Haile Mohito had a vision for business and he grew up having this desire to make his name in this industry. In 2021, he opened his shoe polish shop. He did not forget his roots and his upbringing and so everything of his life reflects in this shop. So friends, I am the voice for the locals and I am at this place. I am really happy looking at the, the place. It gives me really good vibe. So let's help him grow his business. Come and experience this place. Come to this place. Have a look at this beautiful museum which he has decorated by himself and get your shoe polished. So friends, this is the place where they really take care of shoes. When a customer comes and give them the shoes, they polish it and then they keep it aside. They put it in a bag like this. This is how they put their shoes in the bag and they keep it. Next day morning, they again take out the shoes and see that if it requires more polishing and then it is ready to deliver. So friends, they have this special uh, tool which is a shoe retainer kind of thing. When a leather shoe comes, uh, it sometimes deforms the shape. And so this equipment, this little tool helps them to retain the shape back. I don't know what is this called but this is a very nice tool which they have and I haven't seen this before let me show you what happens to the shoe so these are the shoes can you see the leather shoes it's not in right shape so this would help them to retain the shape so this is how this thing has been inserted and now this is kept for 24 hours to 48 hours and then this shoe will retain the shape which it was in the original form. Isn't this nice and amazing guys that they really take care of your shoes. So if you come and drop your shoes here, I am sure that you would be happy and satisfied customer. So friends, today I have worn a sport shoes. It's a white color sport shoes and he would be uh, treating my shoes he would be cleaning up my shoes so I'm excited to do that because I have never been to a shoe place usually I do it at home this is for the first time in my life that I am at a shoe polish place and getting my sport shoes cleaned so <laughs> stay tuned so friends my macchiato is here and he is polishing my shoes and I'm at the conventional museum showing you the old Ethiopia and it's the best feeling I have this is really nice Sitting on the chair and getting my shoe polished in a shoe shop. Wow. I'm happy about it. While he is cleaning my shoes, let me ask you guys, which is the best thing that you have liked of this Tureta shoe shine shop? I have shown you the telephone. I showed you the old books, Ethiopian books. I showed you about the television, the radio, tape recorder, DVD, CDs and the audio cassette uh, player. So which is the best thing that you have liked? Please comment me on the comment section down below that what is the thing you can relate with. And uh, if you comment me and if I get your comments, I would be highlighting your name in my next video. So do that guys. Friends, this place is really affordable. They shine your shoes only for 30 bear. 30 bear is like nothing in today's uh, uh, market. And you get a feeling of being in a shop you're not sitting on the roadside so 
price is really affordable. Thank you guys for showing me all this love. I am at a place who is a shoe shiner himself and it's a beautiful conventional museum. Thank you guys for giving me your support. If you have liked my content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell button. Signing off for now. Bye.